Welcome to Printer Strategies. Today we're going to talk about this complete bookbinding system, the single operator uh, system that can produce 200 plus books per hour. Uh, it, it, the front end is a Borg BB3002. It has the uh, EVA glue. We're going to go through that in a second. It has a cover feeder, feeds into a CMT330. The CMT330 is a three knife trimmer which automatically trims all three sides and stacks your books. So let's go through this step by step. First, I wanted to show you that we have all the manuals for both pieces of equipment, um, the operator manual as well as the service manual for both. Um, these oper these, uh, this machine can also produce books like this. Uh, you just have to have a cover if you have a mylar side to it, the cover has to come up like a quarter inch on the edge. You can also bind with this machine uh, without a cover and basically make it into a pad printer, which would do something like this. So, step one, here's your operator control panel. As you can see right now, it says uh, automatic start upon insertion of the book. We've got a green light here, meaning that as soon as I put the book in, the process will start. Before I do that, because it's a little noisy, I want to just go through how the machine works. You've got your clamps here, which you can make it wider or narrower, depending on the thickness of your book. Once you have your book clamped, this carriage will move across this blade right here, which has blades in both directions. There's a little blade that comes up from the top and it does this kind of thing to give you a better adhesion so the depth of that cut the, how much you're sawing off it's all adjustable through software and then the output of that gets sucked off and into the large vacuuming system back here again we have all the manuals for this that's automatic it only turns on when it's needed to based on the milling operation once you've been through the mill the next thing is it goes across the two drums where you have back gluing as well as side gluing. The side gluing wheels are here and here and this will adjust the width based on the book thickness that it senses when you put the book in. So there's no operator adjustments here. The only thing that the operator needs to do is add glue as needed. That is your entire gluing system. The way that this works is on, when you turn it on to number one, the machine is on. When you turn it to number two, it runs on a schedule. And that is because it does take quite a little while for this glue temperature to get where it needs to be to be proper viscosity to glue. So you can have the machine kick on automatically an hour before your shift and when you walk in, it'll already be warm. So after the edge is glued, the carriage comes over where the book is met with a cover that comes from this cover feeder which in the process will produce up to four so you've got four lines there that are scored by the cover feeder which produces the two the edges of the book as well as the hinges and the hinges allow you to open the book without seeing any of the edge glue that's optional, you can, you can turn those on or off. The thickness, where this is all laid out, can be set electronically or it can be based off of the clamp. When, when it clamps and it knows the thickness of the book that you're producing. So after the book is held in place and a, a, a short amount of drying happens, it then drops it down here where it feeds into the CMT and then into an elevator, which there's actually four spots in here. So the book would be sitting in there like that and the elevator would just go up one at a time. That does two things. Obviously it gets it up to the height it needs to be, but it also allows for glue, the glue to dry. So that's actually kind of like a cooling tower as well as an elevator. Once it gets up here, the book is brought in like this, 
The clamp right here will clamp the book, bring it in. It will uh, make sure that it is centered, grab it again, and then take it down to the other end where you have first the two face trims. So here is one of them. The book would be sitting in here like this. Now, well, there's something in the way at the moment. Um, so the book would be underneath the knife. The knife would come down this side and that side at the same time. The output gets blown away with this little air hose and blown into these large waste cans. So that waste can is good for quite a long time. You can run this machine for about a shift before you have to empty that. And then it, the arm brings it down and this is your face trim knife. So you have two knives on the side, one knife on the face. There's three separate waste containers. And the end result is a book that is the finished size based on your program for whatever you're trying to do and the operator doesn't have to do anything. Once that three-sided is done, it comes back here, shoots it out here, where it is stacked like so, where the drying continues on a nice square flat surface. And that's it. So, as I said, this is a single operator machine. One operator can Feed the books, keep the machine happy, feed the covers, and take the output off of the stacker and box it directly. So with one operator, this entire machine will produce finished goods uh, all day long. Let's see it run. Okay, so while we're waiting for the Duke glue tank to heat back up after showing you the inside, I'd like to show you the screen here. This is the main screen. Um, in here you can do all of your setups so whether or not you put the hinges on the width the complete size of the book it kind of gives you this face and back of the head throughout that shows you the orientation of the book what's the front what's the back pretty much everything has an auto mode this is the cover feeder vacuum as an example you have uh, both vacuum and air knife over there right now it's set to maximum i could set the the vacuum in air knife to lower or I can put it in auto mode and it will try to find its best overall vacuum in air knife based on the thickness of the sheet and multiple tries of picking up. But in this case I've determined that oh, right there is where we want it to be. This is your glue tank and your milling operation. So right now we're taking 60 thousandths off uh, that's adjustable. Um, so very much everything here is adjustable. How fast you go through the mill. So the faster that you go, the less of these teeth that you will see. Right now, fast is, is working just fine. Uh, that's the temperature of your glue. If you change glue types away from what CP Borg recommends, you might need to adjust that. Uh, and here's your run. So these are all the settings of how much clamp pressure, how much clamp time, uh, the distance of the glue start and finish, all of the different facets of how a book will be made are set up here. This is where you save your jobs. This has to do with your basic settings. This is service. Now if I go, I'll just show you how to go into service. I go start one, three, four, zero. And now I'm in service. where you can do all of your calibrations, all of your status, um, you know, you can move motors, you can check sensors, all of those sorts of things can be done here in service. I'm gonna exit service and go back here, hit the green button, and we are now ready for an automatic start upon insertion of book.
so here's the last book and you can see that there's plenty of room to stack books here but the operator can now take this and drop it directly into a box and it's ready to ship you're ripping paper before you're ripping the, the edge Goodbye.